What's up all you dad hustlers? My name is Will Crown and this is episode number four of Dad Hustle. So today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day everyone. I am here with the lovely Miss Carla Kilman. Thank you. And we're going to be doing a little bit of an interview today. Kind of exciting. I know her pretty well. Uh, we've been married for... How long? I'm just kidding. 18 years now. First let me preface by saying oftentimes not only dad hustlers but all dads out there hear the fact that we don't listen enough. We aren't loving enough. And we just aren't attentive. So my question is, if I could ask you any one question today, what would that question be? If you can ask me one question, it would be, Carla, can I give you a two hour foot rub today? <laughs> that would be my question. Yeah, and she's kind of serious about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm very serious. She's always asking for massages. How do you balance all that? Being super mom, super wife, super hustler. Wow, thank and you. And super support, yeah. Yeah, thank you, super mom. That's a great compliment, especially from your husband. But uh, as far as balancing everything, I don't believe there really is a balance. Uh, I think it's flexibility. Of course, my faith is first. I be definitely believe in God. My family, of course, is up there. But everything else takes priority. So it depends on the time and the season in my life. I have to priori prioritize what's important for that time. Overall, um, without really achieving balance, you just have to be a flexible person. So I try to be very flexible and kind of go with what's current at the time in my life. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, the, the things that are taking place at the kids' school. Sometimes it's something else. But, you know, I just have to learn. I learn to prioritize. Mm, that's yeah. good. So priorities are key. Oh, definitely. They are key. What's your number one priority? My number one? You, of course. <laughs> this... Interview is bullshit. <laughs> like, I don't know where all this is coming from. Uh, this is actor Carla Kelman, if you can't tell. <laughs> You're not my priority? You don't want to be? Uh, love to be, but doesn't always feel like that. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> of course, you and the kids. You know, I, it's not like I, it's you and then the kids are left out of I'm course, just teasing but, you. Yeah. No, you do an amazing job. Thank you. You do too. How do you wind down from all your busy activities in life? How do I wind down? Hmm, painting. It, it probably sounds cliche because I am an artist, but that really gets me relaxed. I, I always say when I paint, I, it, it causes just one voice in my head. Otherwise, throughout the day, I have a million different voices in my head, head telling me, I need to get this done, I need to get that done. So painting really just kind of quiets me down and get me to focus and... I just feel rejuvenated after a, a couple of hours of just working with the paints and the brushes and stuff. I feel great. So that's my thing to relax. Cool. That's a great segue to say, you know, all these paintings that you're seeing up here, they're from this lady right here. She's phenomenal. Where can they find you in your work? Oh, they can find me online. Uh, my website is nakedcanvasart.com or artindesign.com, workshop.com, artindesignworkshop.com. So they can go to the web and browse me. They can follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter. I'm pretty much on almost every social media, LinkedIn. So they can find me anywhere. I just Google my name and I will pop up and then click the link. LinkedIn, is that like a, a new site with like a big beard or it's on a penny or... <laughs> No. LinkedIn, you said? LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn. It's a professional LinkedIn. website where you connect with professional people. Yeah, I've so, heard of that one. Yeah. I've heard of LinkedIn. What's your favorite part about being married to me? Oh, you're, you're fun. You're actually fun. I mean, that's one of the things that always got me even... Uh, oh, I shouldn't have scratched my nose. <laughs> even when we were uh, dating was that it was easy to be relaxed with you. Oh, yeah. um, I Tell didn't have to pretend to be somebody else. Okay. You were borderline goofy, borderline mm -hmm. just relaxed, but not too goofy. Relaxed, but not too relaxed. And when you need to be serious, you're very serious. Mm -hmm. When you walk into a room, you command attention, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was just always easy to be me. Wow. The good and the bad. I sound pretty amazing. Yeah, actually. I mean, I think you're super amazing. Wow. I think you're like super dad. Dad hustle. Okay. And they make so much noise, constant, constant noise. They're like humanoids, but without a developed cerebral cortex. I get a little frustrated with them sometimes, and I don't spend as much time with them as you do. How the hell do you handle that? Like, be for real. For real. I tune them out. <laughs> <She does. laughs> I tune 
of all. She I mean, tunes me out too. I'm with our kids, and then I, when we get to school, mm -hmm. I trade them out for other people's kids. And I'm with them all day, and mm -hmm. then I trade them those out not back like, to my kids. Not like a slave trade, but... <laughs> not like a slave trade. No, because they don't do anything for me. But I learned to tune them out, and that's a good thing because I can focus on other things while the noise are going on. I need to be very tunnel vision. I need to be very focused, and I'm very good at that. At the same time, it comes back to bite me in the butt because... It's become a habit to tune them out. So even on times when there is no, no longer any noise and they really want to talk, That's true. well, automatically the minute they open their mouth and I hear the raw, <laughs> my my mind goes to my special my special place. So it's something true. that you are always I've reminding me of and pointing it out, and I have to consciously stay engaged with the kids. Uh, um, so, but yeah, that's how I deal with it. It's my sanity, like Spider Man. It's my blessing. It's my curse, but it's my sanity. So, tune in them out. Carla! Carla! So, final thoughts. Again, happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. What words of encouragement, or what would you say, doesn't have to be encouragement, whatever you want, to any dad hustlers out there? Keep hustling. You know, I know sometimes you're at the grind, and you're out there, and you're providing for your family, you're trying to spend time with your kids. There's a lot going on in your life. But just keep hustling, especially if you're doing what you love to do, if you're in your passion. Uh, we know that is what f fuel, fuels you, right? Fuels you. Fuels me. It fuels me. <laughs> so just keep doing it, and then one day things will happen for you. You know, if you do not quit and you're consistent and you're giving it all you have, you know, the universe will conspire for you and the law of attraction, you know, the things that you're going after will happen. But you always have to keep your family first. Know that they are the... Um, what keeps you going forward and then everything will work out. I'm a, I'm becoming a more positive person mm -hmm. as I get older. And so what would you yeah. attribute that to? Uh, my faith. I, I think I'm becoming more sure in my faith and I'm becoming more sure in myself. I'm, I, I just, but what would you attribute becoming more for sh more sure of yourself to? Um, Self-development. It's a it plays a huge part in it. I know for years we wanted me to get into that and I'm like, yeah, no, no, I'm not doing that. But as I started just listening to audios, reading books, you know, just starting taking the time to develop my own mind apart from my work or my home life, I became a more confident person. And yeah, I'm quirky sometimes. Yeah, I'm a little off ball sometimes, but I'm comfortable being me. And because of that, I think it just kind of the authenticity pours out and people respond. Cool. So, yeah. Cool. So keep hustling is what you're saying. Yeah, keep hustling. It's like a scary movie. <laughs> get out! We just saw Get Out last night. Mm. It was good. Made me wonder. <laughs> Have I been brainwashed these past 18 and a half years? Okay. Is there somebody living in my head? Okay. Is that not really me? That's enough of that. I love being a part of your film. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Uh, if you've seen the movie, you'll get the reference. If you haven't, sorry. Yeah. Way to go, Jordan Peele. You're awesome. Can't wait to meet you. I actually was on set with you one time, but you didn't know because I was just uh, nobody Extra. in the set. But <laughs> nice. still, look forward to hanging, dude. And remember to subscribe uh, to Dad Hustle and stay tuned for more episodes coming. I'm pretty fired up and excited about what's in store for Dad Hustle. Some big stuff. Yeah. Please comment on this video. I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you like, did not like. If it's her, it's okay. Listen, I won't let her read the comments, so just say it. I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. As always, my name's Will Crown, and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad house. Keep hustling, dads. You can't stop it!